Hello and welcome to Elite Dangerous. Now, uh, a lot of my friends have started uh, playing this and I'd seen it around on YouTube a few times and I thought, is this for me? Isn't this for me? I wasn't quite sure. But I decided, you know what, it's the last day of the year, fuck it, why not? Let's get in. And the reason I'm doing this is because there are a few things I don't understand. And one of my friends called Red, he's played this game since beta for a long time. In fact, we all played it back in... On the BBC Micro, in fact, I think I had it for the Econ Electron, it's going that back far. But uh, yeah, so this is really for him to have a look at, but also for new players wanting to get in. This is one of the training missions that tells you about navigation across the stars. And as we come up from the ship here, you can see this hangar. It's bloody huge and it looks gorgeous. I'm actually playing with the 360 pad, and I have wondered whether there are a few controls that are kind of mixed up because there are a lot of buttons in here such as being able to rotate on a dime it seems to go off kilter slightly when I'm turning but I'm, it may be me not getting used to it like that it seems to shift a little bit and I have to keep readjusting so let's get out here look at that yeah. oh shit that was close <laughs> right all good up to this point as you can see the um, it's not a spacecraft what is it let's call it the cube and there's earth above us and um, yeah, lots of gadgets and gizmos in front of us. That's my joystick. Uh, as I said, I'm using the L stick. I've actually set landing gear to click in the left thumbstick, so that's that's done. Mass locked, which means we've got to be five kilometres from the uh, base that we've just left before we can go into super speed or FSG. Not even sure what FSD stands for. Fucking stupid dickhead. That'll do. So we charge that up. That's going to in order to, to be able to get some speed within the system. I think that's right. There we go. And we can free look as well. So this is Super Cruise. This allows you to travel within this system, right? I get that. Not sure on the dashboard at the bottom how you can tell whether you're in this speed mode or whether is it obvious because of the particles flying towards us. Right, I get this. So to jump to another complete system we'd have to go into the next speed uh, hypercharge or hyperspace right so come into here and yeah everybody knows every one of those dots is a place you can go freaking huge but for now let's keep this simple don't know what all these little gizmos do but I know if I highlight over there I can select it and that's my destination locked in right I get this so far so good and that little blue compass thing down there and if I line that up that gives me the destination which is where we're going there so that's one light year away or three point something years no idea again if somebody can tell me what that means the planet's gone blue again not sure what that means does that mean I'm locked onto that is that the location that I'm aiming for uh, there are little things there next to the blue one, like 82, 83%. I've got no idea what they are. If anybody can tell me. I presume the one on the other one is the speed. Um, yeah, it looks nice. Right, here we go. Um, actually come out near a star as you can see there you know a lot of people didn't know that the sun is a, is a star well it is so there you go right uh, select destination station so now I've jumped to a different galaxy I think or a different system using my hyperspeed I now need to select the destination which is that I'm going to lock it and again, I'm going to move the little compass so I'm in line with it. This thing on the left with the blue lines. Speed and distance. Again. It looks straightforward, but I'm sure it's not. Um, there's also something down there as well. WEP and SYS. No idea what that means as yet. Reduce speed on approach. Now, this is where I get fucked up. Because I'm getting super close, I pressed J, I thought that would disengage the super speed or the hyper speed. It, it, it doesn't seem to. So I'm just going to bring the normal speed back up. So I'm going too fast now, it's telling me to press for emergency stop. When I want to do that, obviously, I 
go into a swirl. Taking damage, I think. Heat damage. What am I doing wrong there? Can anybody tell me? I don't understand what I'm doing wrong there. Am I, do, do I slow down the accelerator? Or do I press that J key to take off the FSD? Not quite sure what the procedure is for this. Um, I can see the FSD is cooling down down there. So we're going to wait for that to charge back up. And then we're going to blast straight back to this, which is a year away. Again, somebody needs to tell me. Is that light year? One light year? Or is that light years above? Again, not too sure. Right, FSD is nearly ready. Fucking stupidly fast drive. Right, we're charging. Right, so we're blasting now at one year. That's going to zoom down because we're travelling at hyperspeed. Oof. Travelling towards it. Now, how do I slow down here? How, what, what do I do to... This is where it confuses me. See, I'm too fast again. Fucking on fire. I think I'll cut it here until I've got the FSG, FSD drive up, charged and ready again. Right, here we go. I'm going to try it again. Come on. Turbo boost. I might also said that B was boost on the, uh, the pad. Again, I don't know when you use that or what it's for. I thought this was kind of like boosting. Game seems pretty deep, man. There's also an exclamation on the targeted thing on the left there, below the little blue compass. Don't know what that's telling me. Alert for some reason. Again, red, if you can explain that to me, that would help me a lot, fella. Okay, so I'm cruising like a mofo. I presume do I have to stop it when those little bars on the left get to blue regarding distance or speed? Again. Straight past it. Ah, this is getting This is getting confusing, lads. I will do this. If it fucking kills me, I will do this. Right, come on. And then I'm gonna show you like a fucking trooper. How I bloody land it. Right, now can I lock on to this space station? No, I can't lock on. Maybe, is that because I'm not within five kilometres of it? Is that a noob thing to say, or am I picking it up slowly? <laughs> Talk about throwing you at the deep end. Right. Come on, those little bars on the left are close to the blue. Slow down, right. So I'm braking. If there's such thing as braking in space, I'm reducing my speed. Just don't know when I'm supposed to. Am I still in this hyperspeed thing? It looks like I am. But when I press J, it goes to the hyperspeed again. I thought that would turn it off. Slow down, yeah, I'm trying to. Oh, come on. What's that say? Safe distance. Safe disengage. How slow have I got to go? If I can work this out, I'll quite happily plod along along the stairs. Um, it's full of stars. Amazing line from an amazing film. 2001, best film ever. Oh, for fuck's sake! It's got to be something to do with this hyper schnurber, but I don't know how I can tell. Whether I'm in hyper schnurbin mode. Come on! Safe disengage ready. Okay, let me tap J. I haven't actually got it set on the. Oh, fucking hell. I have no idea what I pressed then. But there's the bad boy. Right, so again, that, that just needs clearing up. Somebody can explain that to me, what, uh, what I'm doing wrong there. J is on the keyboard, it's not mapped to the pad. Uh, I'm going to try and lock it. I presume I've got to get in within five kilometres of this bad boy. And then I'll put the landing gear down. Request landing. And I don't think there's anything else to do, is there? I would like to know if there's an easy way to find out where the entrance is. Maybe I'm being dumb here. Um, 
I'm coming up to this now. I don't actually. Oh, is, oh, it must be that with a little thing sticking out of it. Is there an easy way to find when you're coming up to this cube where the actual entrance is? Um, you know, where the map is asked by the looks of it. Yeah. I wish when you got in closer as well, you could lock your rotation to the actual entrance to it, uh, almost like you're following its mass. Right. So. Bad boys there. So how do I? Slow my speed down. You know, this is the sort of game where a joystick would be fantastico. I think. Right. Docking request granted. Right. Certainly looks nice. Which was a bit more anti-aliasing. I've got everything on Ultra, uh, including SMAA on the anti-aliasing, but there's still a few little jaggies out there, which is a shame. Maybe I can do something in the control panel just to smooth it off a little bit, just to add that bit more immersion. Right. This is where I struggle. So I've got my landing gear down. This is really faffy. I'm really struggling with this. This may be something to do with... Uh, the 360 pad, I'm not sure. Right. Oh, fuck. Fuck! <laughs> lucky, lucky, lucky. Now, I know if I keep my speed on this bar down here in the blue, it gives me the most maneuverability, but I don't know whether there's a preferred speed you have to come into these, um, these carriers in order to land. Again, Red, if you can tell me. Red's one of my mates, by the way. Good lad. In the, uh, he was in 3 Commando with me before I left. And he's still fucking going strong with his big cock. What a trooper. Right. So I'm going to reduce the speed. I'm going to shift my little boosters over and try and land it. It's just a matter of adjusting this now. Anyway guys, this has been a complete and utter noob playing Dangerous Elite. It's not on Steam Origin, you have to go to the... You didn't see that. You didn't see that, nobody's looking. Um, download it, install it, and give it a go. So far, it's enjoyable. Looks like there's a lot to learn. Um, I'm in it for the expl exploration, I'm not in it for the combat. So uh, yeah, get it, see what you think. And if you can help me in any way, or guide me to some videos that... Stop me being a complete nut to fucking retard. Then thanks for watching. Happy New Year from me, Para, and thanks for anybody who helps me. I shall see you in space on the battlefield on the construction site. Adios.